Good morning, all you crazy dinar investors. You know how I know when you guys are informed? You guys stop asking me questions. This is good. You guys have definitely slowed down on the questions, which means you guys are informed. I like this. All right, here's what we have going forward. Um, this, this, here's what I'm looking for. August going into kind of the first half of September, okay? Let me touch on corruption for a second. With the corruption, when we just have to use common sense on this, this, this whole video is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice, okay? This part's my opinion. With corruption and using common sense, there's no way that any type of legal authorities are gonna give criminals the upper hand, okay? They're not gonna come out and say, hey, we're gonna file sanctions against you. We're gonna freeze your assets. Okay, or we're just going to arrest you. They're, they're, not going to, they're not going to do that. Well, that's what you guys are seeing in the news right now, okay? You're seeing all these articles where they're coming out saying, hey, we're going to put sanctions on this one, and, and we're going to freeze that person's assets, guys. They're, here's my point. There's no way they would ever release that information prior to making a move or actually enacting on the person. reason why, if they did, they gave them the upper hand. If they plan on freezing their money or assets, they could move their money or assets, Okay. So my point is, guys, I strongly feel a lot of this, these, these corruption actions really started more towards the beginning of July. And that's why they didn't start. A lot of news in Iraq can be delayed anywhere two to three weeks out. So notice the corruption news didn't really start until about mid-July. So the fact that it started coming out mid-July, kind of going into late July and now early August, told me really suggested to me that they really started making their moves on the corruption most likely towards the very beginning of july okay and and now you know i've kind of told you that yes we do need to see the corruption um come to an end because that's a huge factor and layer of the political stability that the cbi is seeking before they'll even agree to, to delete the zeros or change the rate okay so so my point is to is this with that said because they most likely started the corruption probably around the beginning of july I think most of it's probably already dealt with, okay? And what all you're just hearing now is just kind of the aftermath of it within the news, okay? It's like it's already done, dealt with, and now they're just finally telling you about it, okay? So I just wanted to stress that to you, that I strongly believe the, the whole co political corruption as far as going after them legally is, is the progress of it is a lot farther along then we're privy to know, okay? Because otherwise they would be giving the the um, the, uh, the the corrupt political figures the upper hand and there's no way in hell they would even allow that to happen, okay? And that's just common sense. So, all right, so let's move on. So what are we looking for, okay? What is it we're seeking? How do we know we're on track and how do we know we're getting closer to seeing this? Well, you guys already know they've been setting the stage for the whole first half of the year, talking about corruption, trade agreement, or I'm sorry, not corruption, um, trade agreements, reconstruction, you know that they've been having all these meetings with, and they're actually still having meetings with Kurdistan. And with Kurdistan, they're, they're discussing how much oil Baghdad's gonna receive for money. And then Kurdistan wants to know how much, how much money and what percentage of the budget they're gonna get back, you know, regarding um, the oil and gas law, which is the HCL and Article 140. So, so there's a lot of movement right there, okay? Here's what we're looking for. We're looking for that movement to slow down, okay? We, we as we reach, uh, as we're approaching the end of August and then rolling into September, we wanna see news articles uh, in, in a way kind of settle down and stop talking about all this stuff. We don't wanna keep seeing articles on, on reconstruction, okay? Um, we don't wanna keep seeing articles on corruption. We don't wanna keep seeing articles on, on meetings with the Kurds to, to iron things out like Article 140 in the ATO. We want to, as we get into September, guys, we want to see those articles slow down and kind of end so that, so that really kind of by, as we get into early September, maybe mid-September, the last variable remaining will be what we call the final end step, which is the formation of the government. That's What that's telling us, guys, is that Iraq has done everything they need to do to set the stage. And they're ready to change the rate, guys. And you you already know the absolute last variable you're waiting on is the formation of the government because that's what the CBI says said multiple times. They're waiting on the they're wait they want they want Iraq to achieve political stability before they will agree to delete the zeros and change the rate. Okay, so that's that's where we stand. That's um 
that's one of the ways we're looking at kind of some of the patterns we're looking for in the news as it's a little early right now where it's a little early in the game to to kind of see that pan out and unfold okay um, but we should start seeing more of that as we get farther you know farther into August and then and then kind of during the first half of September that's that's the direction we want to see the news go and then once we see that guys they're pretty much are telling us their stage is set and they're ready to do this so that so that kind of around mid-September, the last variable you're, you want to see will be the formation of the government. And that's, that's the icing on the cake right there. God bless every single one of you and have an amazing day.